Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Today I've binned the Wheel of Doom. A little bit too much doom when I use that thing. But instead I found this map on the workshop that's like a flood challenge. So essentially if we zoom right out we're sort of in like a huge bathtub type environment. And if we come down to this icon down here, water, you can see that's how many water spawners are dotted all the way around the map. So this place is going to get wet. And basically our aim is to start off in this single grid and try and work our way to high ground, I guess. I mean, I probably want to get over onto this ledge. Yeah, but that's quite a few tiles away. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and I'm going to give myself two rules in this. One, I'm not going to be able to use the landscaping tool at all. And two, I'm not allowed to hit pause. So let's unpause the game and then let's get going. I have no idea like what the time limit is on this. Uh, but I guess to start with, I should probably stop talking and just build. So first off, we need roads. So let's do roads down there. Then we can get some green on the go. And then we'll do what I like to do, which is the commercial buffer and then the industry. All right, nice. So we'll just watch all of those build and then our population should start growing. All right, here we go. Look at all the traffic. Oh, there's a train. There's a train. Oh, I didn't actually think like where do you because all of this will be underwater, all these roads. Thankfully, over here, we have a bit of a raised area. So that should sort of stay dry. If we just follow this outside. Holy whoa, look at all these bridges. That is awesome. Aren't they a bit low? Aren't they going to go underwater? Does that mean they're going to have to spend money on, like, helping them? Oh, man, you can see, like, the water sources, like, surging away. Things are going to get wet fast, which means I got to keep building. And look, we are making profit now, so that is very good. So uh, let's keep building houses. All right, there we go. We're Little Hamlet. So now we can take a loan out if we want, and we can fiddle with taxes. I mean, should probably get the landfill site in before too long. I might shove that right down this end. Let me shove a school there. And then healthcare. Yeah, if people live longer, they pay tax for longer. So that's probably a worthwhile expense. Look at all those happy faces. Anyway, things are going pretty well. I've named this Moistland USA. I thought it sounded quite apt for the for the name. So we'll go with that. And then we're just going to paint these up as demand comes in. And then we are a worthy village. And look, we've unlocked a new area. So having a look around, I think we want to end up on this ridge. That's most likely the safest spot, right? Let's go left to start. Four and a half grand, blooming hell. All right, so run into a little bit of an issue. We have a power problem and a burglar problem. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay some more windmills down. That bar's now green, and then we'll come to the police tab, and we're gonna we need a police station. So I reckon two birds, one stone. There's someone here currently getting burgled, so let's just replace their house with a police station because we've got to make those crime statistics look good to keep attracting new people. Oh no, looks like somewhere burnt down. That's oh, there's so many expenses with a city. So. Let's get fire engines in. And then no, it's no there's still not enough power. Right. I gave wind a chance, but it's no good. I feel like there's not enough wind down here with all these big walls. And I mean, since the planet's flooding anyway, I may as well build a coal power plant. I just gotta save up some money. Ah, I forgot I could tweak these. Let's grab an extra couple percent tax. I'm sure no one will notice that. All right, then we can afford a coal power plant. So we'll shove one in straight away. And then all of our power problems have gone away. All right, so things are going pretty well. We got high demand for more residents residential so let's wang those in along there and then hang on hang on hang on hang on no <laughs> no why is there so much water coming this way it's flooding already uh, i feel like i'm not prepared for this seems to have been a random tidal surge because there's no water coming out now but uh, that's quite a lot of water no garbage trucks <laughs> oh we're a boom town it's fine <laughs> Oh, we've unlocked another square. Okay, that's good. So whilst these guys try not to float away, I think they're actually okay. It's not too deep, the water. I feel like it hasn't left any lasting damage. There's going to be a few more waves like that. But yeah, as long as it all disperses by the time it gets to my town, it should be okay. But yeah, in the meantime, I need some arms like that. I need to keep extending these roads and keep my commercial safety strip going. Keep my industrial going down there. Then you know what? I think we're okay. There's so little water now. It's sort of all evaporated before it's gonna hit my city and looking back up this way it does seem like it was only a temporary surge i mean the levels are absolutely mental in here <laughs> look how rough it is and then for my next tile i imagine i want to go upwards 
Do I? Or do I keep going left and then up? Yeah, I think we'll keep going left for now. So 5,300 quid. We'll buy that. All right, then we'll just keep an eye on these waves. They are getting closer. How deep? Oh, they are really shallow. They're really shallow. We should be fine. How deep is that? Oh, man, look at the umbrella. The umbrella is like nearly going completely under. But no, I think we're good. Just one little flash flood and then that's it. If you look up there, completely dry. Oh, look, there's what's going on up here? Why is there water up here? What? Oh, there's a leak. Why is there? <laughs> Who built this map? Isn't that meant to be shut? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, there is water coming from up there. So we are going to have to run in the city building figuratively term, of course. Yeah, so probably a good thing I didn't buy any tiles up that way. I kept going that direction. Hang on. What is that? What is that? Why do we have death symbols? Why are people dying? Wait, everyone dies. It's not that there's a dead person. It's that there's a dead person waiting for transport because I didn't build a cemetery. All right, cemetery. What sort of range does this cover? Pretty good, actually. I mean, I could put it right next to... <laughs> Right next to the landfill site. Oh, no. Oh, no. Electricity, water. No. All right, what's happened with electricity? Okay, we don't have any electricity. Let's build another coal plant next to the cemetery. Sorry. And then I think water just went out because there was no electricity. But it is about to run out anyway. So we want to suck up more water. And then we probably want to do a bit more pooing. Oh, my goodness. Look how pooey that water is. Yeah, right. Water over there seems to have settled a bit. It's not splurging out like it was. Up this way, it's sort of... It's thinking about trying to trying to leak out again but we're sort of okay definitely just need to keep expanding like i don't actually want to spend too much money on this area because it is gonna we are gonna lose it all at some point hence i'm not really investing in like all these services that i should be like we have we have zero high school everyone is very uneducated it's a bit like victorian times finish primary school get out to work i'm not gonna lie it's sort of surprised like how little tra i mean there is quite a lot of traffic but it's not like as bad as i thought it would be. All right, so we're a busy town. Oh, have I not unlocked another tile yet? No, we haven't. All right, I am. I feel like I need to attract people in a different way. So shall I add some parks and stuff Will that like make some people happy and want to live here a bit more? Yeah, we can demolish some houses for a, for a park. That's fine. Particularly when the park looks like this. That is going to grab some attention. I'll tell you that. All right, good news. We are now a big town. We've unlocked a brand new tile. Uh, the bad news, Moistland is about to get a whole lot more moist because this is just about to start overflowing legitimately this time. So we got to be quick. Oh, no, we got a bin problem as well. Now, I was going to get an incineration plant, but I feel like I may as well just do a landfill site because this all of this land's going to be gone anyway. So, yeah, let's, let's just shove another landfill site down. But yeah, look, water is pouring. So we need to we need to buy that extra tile and work out where we're going to go. I think I might go. I might go left. Yeah, okay. We've now we've now purchased this land. The next one, we should be able to start getting up there. So that's good. Yeah, in the meantime, we're just going to keep expanding. And then, oh, look, we've unlocked the high density stuff. High density commercial, high density residential. And we'll get some offices on the go as well. Oh, yes, we've now got tower blocks. So we'll keep our roads going that direction right to the end because that is where we're going to go upstairs. And then finally, we're a small city. We have 11,000 population. Now, the next milestone, we do get that new area. We need 4,000 more people-ish. Uh, we also need that water to not come this way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is a lot of water. I might actually need to need to do something about that. Um, what are my options here? Actually... I just had an idea. I know a way, a free way we can we can help this. Disasters. So I can literally build a sinkhole. Oh, it's outside of city limits. Oh, but that's so close. I don't want to build one that close, do I? If I do it there, will that hurt my people? I guess there's only one way to find out. But yeah, in the meantime, oh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need like canals or something. So we can build wide deep canals. How much do they cost? Oh, they don't cost that much. Okay, we'll just do we'll do a strip all the way along the back like that. That should take a bit of water and then what sort of sea walls are there i think there's only this flood wall which isn't the biggest in the world oh look there's the sinkhole i mean that's absolutely tiny when you <laughs> when you compare it to the size of the canal it's actually is it shallower it might be shallower still let's hope the sea wall is enough it is actually looking like it is tall enough the only trouble is it only goes to there and then we are in a bit of trouble although potentially i could do my canals down this way and then just bridge over. Because we're going to have to bridge over that rivery thing. Yeah, tell you what, let's do that. 
can then canal down this way. Can we flood wall in front? Quickly block that in. Oh, that was close. The water nearly got in there. Oh boy, that is turning to the sea out there. I mean, I feel like maybe I should buy a tile down here to protect the highway coming in. Because if that highway goes, we are literally screwed. All right, maybe I should prepare. Let's get some... I'm going to get some train lines in. So cargo on down here. We'll delete these complaining people. And then, oh, look, we're a big city. We've got the extra area. Nice. All right, we'll come off like that. Curve into there. So then we have a cargo station. So I assume I want to come out of that and go back. Connect in down there. Okay, sorted. Uh, check out the stacks we're making. 11 grand a week. All right, well, time to build a safe railway, I think. So one that stays up in the air. So we're going to come off of this bridge. And oh, man, this is spending some money. This is spending some money. All right. I'm going to do a passenger train down to there. And then another one up this side. And then I think I can just do like a train line between them. So we'll go straight over the sinkhole. I'm sure that's fine. Past the Rocket Monument Park. And then connect into this train line. Nice. Do a train line from there over to this one. Then back again. And then we have public train transport. And I assume if I connect this down like that, perhaps people can come in like tourists maybe. Don't know. Anyway, time to buy the extra tile. So I think we're going to go left rather than right. So we'll buy that one. We've then got to try and get over the seawall and canal, which I'm not sure is possible without anarchy. So let me just turn our little blue bird from that into a heavy metal bird where it's definitely not just a phase. Just so we can get a bridge over the top like that. And then we got to take this and try and climb this wall. All right. And we are up. We are up. So we are officially out of the flood zone. Uh, we don't have any land we can actually build up here though. I mean, I guess technically we do. We could sort of build properly along this edge. And then can we... I mean, no. I think this area is going to have to sort Sort of allow the upper area to survive. It's going to be very dystopian. I think the people down here, they're going to be doing all the legwork. People up here are going to be living life, sipping on a tea, looking at the view, looking at the peasants, doing all the work for them. But uh, that's just how city building works in this game, apparently. Okay, so I've built everything I could up here. We've, well, we've really tried to uh, make the most out of this. So yeah, no more room up here, which means I've started filling in gaps down here. We've got some commercial there. We've got all sorts on the edge of the canal. The trouble now is the water on the outside has sort of started reaching down here and uh, that's sort of out of my out of my control there's not a lot I can do there so we might be in a lot of trouble very very shortly unless I sacrifice building up here to try and save this place the question is do I care enough to try and save it I do not know Ah, there's so much water coming this way. <laughs> Please don't ruin my city. I do actually care. I mean, I'm sort of wondering, do I... I could sacrifice some houses to build my flood walls around here. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Sorry, original, original people. All your houses have been destroyed for the greater good. All right, and then I got to try and build a flood wall like along that edge. That should help us a bit. I don't know if I can fit a wide canal in. I might just go with a deep one. Yeah, I can fit that in. Nice. Okay, that's sort of good. Oh no, where'd that water come from? Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, so for now, we do still have water. I am predicting that we'll lose that fairly shortly though. Um, oh my god, the rubbish. What's wrong with the rubbish? Landfill use. Oh man, all of our landfills are nearly full. All right, tell you what, it's going to cost a hundred grand, but let's get a waste processing plant. You know, we'll shove that there. That made some people unhappy. The same people that were probably complaining about their waste as well. Uh, in the meantime, quite worried about how how high the sea level is getting on the outside. Somehow, still not spilled around this side yet. But yeah, down here doesn't look like it's got long, so I probably need to do new water intakes. But uh, perhaps can I build these? Oh, I can build them up there. Do they suck water though, or is that going to be too... Oh, they do suck water. Oh, look how long those tubes are. Look at the size of these tubes. Okay, so now we got water and down. Oh no, the water's gone round the back. It's flanked me. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It's not too late to save this. It's not too late. All right, flood wall along the back. What do you mean cannot build on water? Oh no, because it's flooding. I can't build it. Okay, we're going to... Ah, uh, we're going to have to build back. We're going to have to build back. Turn the speed down, Matt. Why are you fast forwarding, you knob? Ooh, what do you mean cannot build on water? There's no water there. Okay, there you go. We'll get that in. Then we'll head back down. We'll come over to this. Build around that. Oh no, it's too late. It's too late. The water's coming in this end. Can I not build a flood wall down there? No, it's too close to the motorway. I'm going to have to move the motorway. Oh, I wish I could pause the cave. Motorway, you're gone. Then I can get a 
flood wall in when it's not flooded. Okay, flood wall is in. We now need to try and fix this road. Can we get the world's dodgiest highway in down here? Oh, it's sort of going okay, and then it gets a bit too tight. What if we drop down to a two-lane? <laughs> so it's a bit narrower. There we go. There's... <laughs> Oh, do not build a road like this. Trust me. All right, then we got all of our junctions again like that. Then there's not really a way back out, if I'm honest. I mean, all of that road is underwater anyway. It's just a question of will people actually use this road? I mean, where is everyone? Oh, don't say it. Are they underwater out here? No, they're not. They're not underwater out here. Where is everyone? Hello? Where is everyone? Maybe it needs to be linked in order to use it. Ugh. All right, I just anarchied it into the wall because why not? Has that triggered anyone to come? No, it hasn't. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Look, there's everyone. They're all... <laughs> I love that this is how people spawn into the map. They run from the edge of the map, then all jump in a car or a motorbike, and then uh, they're all on their way. All right, so I've got good news and bad news. The good news is the town is thriving. I mean, sort of thriving. Just ignore all the, like, all the death and stuff because we are a capital city. I told you we are thriving and therefore we've unlocked the new area which is actually very much needed because that brings me on to the bad point. Um, sea level getting rather high over this end, actually filling up my canal. Um... <laughs> Oh dear, look, and down this end as well. This end is bad. I think we've lost those water pumps. No, water is leaking in this end. Oh wow, and the poo. The poo is not good. So we might have poo leaking in to the entire area soon. Thankfully though, the new area is unlocked, which means we can actually do a bit more building up here because at the moment, I mean, although it's better than flooding, it's, uh, well, things haven't gone that successfully up here, if I'm honest. Anyway, the next tile, I think rather than going left, we're just going to go straight up because that's going to have the most land mass. So yeah, we'll purchase that. 12 grand. Chump change to me. And yeah, so now we can extend our roads over from this over this way. And then I guess we can start gridding up up here. Get all the pipe work in and then just start painting it up, I guess. Uh, we're also going to need electricity up here. Now, I did bring pylons up. Uh, most of these are actually underwater now, so I don't think they're going to work very easily. And plus, the area where we're making the power is very much near underwater so what i thought i'd do since we've got like just the front edge of all of these you know, i thought i'd build a dam so we could build like a dam actually we can we can probably replace our bridge with them there you go so that is a dam do i want it that high i don't know if i want it that high actually yeah i do dams don't flood over the top do they i don't know we'll find out shortly <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that means we can now connect that road to there and then that road to there. And then we should start making power from this. And yeah, so I'll probably replace all of these with dams. So I'll just do that. Okay, nice. So now we should be making power. I love that they're just like cliff top dams. They're not making any power yet. I assume... I mean, I don't, I don't actually know why it's not making power yet. Maybe the water level at the back needs to rise. I mean, there is still lots of water coming in, I think. Yeah, that's quite a big waterfall. Trouble is, if I want that water to rise, then down here... Oh no. Oh no. It's all going underwater. Oh, the floodgates are overtopping. This is not good. Yeah, from above, we can really see where the water's coming in. Oh no. All right, well, the good news is people are starting to move in up the top. The bad news is up the top is the only thing that's going to exist soon. It won't be known as up the top. It will just be known as it. Yeah, this train line that I built, I should probably try and get that up so people can actually get up here. I mean, only if they can afford a train ticket, of course. All right, so train line is up here. Let's just build a station. I reckon I need a cargo station. So we'll do cargo down that. What the? What is that? What is that? Warning earthquake detected. What? It's just an earthquake in the middle of the sea. Um, Earthquakes create tsunamis, right? Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Why is there an earthquake? Is that going to absolutely ruin us? Or is that okay? Oh, I was going to say they don't look too big. But when you compare it to my flood walls. Oh, God, that's quite some waves. At least it will put the fire out. There's always, there is always a positive with this. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, actually, my canal system has actually saved the day. Because although that tsunami breached over the top, I think the canal caught most of the water. And we're sort of... We're sort of okay. Train's not loving life there. But oh man, there's so much water coming in. 
Everyone's flooded. I mean, some of it's going down the, the sinkhole. That didn't... Oh, that didn't last very long. That is full already. I'm sorry, everyone down here. I tried to do my best. Hang on. Let me finish building this train station. Then you can all come up here. So cargo train there. Oh, I haven't got enough money for a normal train station. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. We've got bin issues up here. Don't worry. I know the perfect place to send our rubbish. <laughs> It's down there. Actually, I don't even know if I can do that. Because, yeah, all of these... Oh, no. The city's on the brink of bankruptcy. What? You must cut services by shutting them down or raise taxes. You can also take out a loan. Have I got negative money? I'm not bailing out. We will recover. Oh, we're on minus 20 grand. How did this happen? <laughs> Will our cargo terminal not give us money? Because surely, yeah, all the trains on this line, they should stay dry. So look, there comes a train. There comes a train. Let's follow this train and then see where it ends up. We, can, we Oh, no, don't go this way. Don't go this way, you silly, silly. Oh, it's just going straight through the water. Oh, fair enough. Maybe you're not as silly as I thought you were, train. But yeah, oh, man, look at the money. The money is going down in a big way. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, I know you're being bankrupt. Go away. I don't need a bailout. I mean, what's 50 grand going to do? Absolutely nothing. I'm swamped. I think Moistland is an understatement now. Yes, yeah, now wetland in the USEA uh, in, in the sea, basically. This, this land doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Oh, so close to actually achieving something. So, so close, but it didn't happen. Right. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know if I pass this challenge. Look, I'll take I'll take your bailout, but um, we're still minus 300 grand. <laughs> and the negative is just going up and up. But yeah, I feel like we gave it a good attempt. But um, yeah, you cannot engineer the sea. That is for sure. So on that note, I'll say peace, love and USC. Bye.